Today, May 13th, is the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima. It was on this day in 1917 that the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to the three shepherd children in Portugal for the first time. There was a preparatory phase before her appearances. An angel appeared to the children and gave them spiritual communion. And they had other extraordinary phenomena before the Blessed Mother appeared. But it was on this day that she appeared for the first time and appeared every month on the 13th, culminating in October, when thousands of people gathered in the field at Fatima and witnessed the miracle of the sun, saw the Blessed Mother and the Sacred Heart and the sky, saw the sun um, spinning and descending towards the earth. And many skeptics and atheists had come out from Lisbon to essentially um, cast aspersion on the authenticity of the miracle and they came back unable to explain what they had experienced. So the church has given its approbation to the authenticity of the apparitions at Fatima. When we look at Mary's appearances at Fatima and indeed all of her messages, it always comes down to conversion, calling people to a change of heart, calling us to do what Mary says to the stewards in John chapter 2 at the miracle of Cana, do whatever he tells you. Do whatever Jesus asks. So Mary is always there pointing to Jesus and saying, listen to him, follow him, love him. That's the message of conversion. She appeared in 1917, right at the end of World War I. And when you think about it, at the beginning of the Spanish flu epidemic, which took over the whole world. She warned that there'd be a second, more terrible war if people did not uh, turn their hearts towards God. And so her message is as relevant, if not more relevant today than ever, to pray the rosary, to fast, to turn our lives towards Christ, to put Jesus um, enthroned on our hearts as the center of our affections, our desires, our actions, our will. A Mary always points us to Christ. It was also on this day 39 years ago that St. John Paul II was shot in St. Peter's Square by a, a communist, by someone who wanted to silence this great prophetic voice calling for human rights, calling for um, the love of God and of neighbor, calling us to that same conversion. John Paul always attributed uh, his um, salvation that day to Our Lady of Fatima. And so we, we pray to Our Lady, we pray to St. John Paul II this day, and ask both of them for their powerful intercession that our lives may be an expression of conversion and action. Do whatever he tells you.